Prove yourself. Both of them hit two heroes. Like that's that's rough times, man. Your regeneration is gonna be dropping very quickly. Sneaking and body blocked. He does tether his way through. The damage though is way too much. And with the stroke of fate, and both of them hit two heroes. Like that's that's rough times, man. Your regeneration is gonna be dropping very quickly. Sneaking and body blocked. He does tether his way through. The damage though is way too much. And with the stroke of fate, rim stroke. But he got zero bashes, so never lucky. Dude, have you ever bashed before in your life? Come on. Nothing for this time lock is broken. <laughs> this time lock is broken. Hey, there it is. It works. With the IO Spirits. Looks like it was just in time. Whisper is down. It was, it was all calculated by Envy. He has another time walk. He is going to take a pretty big stroke hit, but it looks like he's going to go down. He didn't time walk. Real greedy trying to get that kill, and that's Snaking gonna die half towards as well. You get Vision of her so that like a Invis rune Lena or something can do something afterwards. So Snaking, he's gonna get stunned by the Ink Swell, but still alive. The Spirit is on him, the Phantom rather. And Whisper trying desperately to get the kill, but he gets bashed. And now the TP comes in, bringing in the heavy that is Tomato. Gets EE -E another kill, Centaur, but EE -E is here. First hit bash, second hit bash. All calculated, RP dragging him into the tower, and they're going to get a little bit of CS in the meantime because of that cleave. There is a Lina here as well, who's going to be cleaning up, so Tomato finally gets his dues. Situationally really awesome. Oh, snaking. Got to be careful. Phantom is on him now, but there is help. The Bane has arrived. Brain Sap Stampede is out. They just put the Pengalier to sleep, and snaking somehow is still alive. He completely dodges those pokes from the Pengalier, and Envy now is going to get rolled in on twice. That has a time walk. He can't get it out in time. Had stick this. Like losing your faces void ever really sucks, but ooh, maybe this will make up for it because there is a haste rune on Lena. Immediately there goes the grim stroke, and Whisper is going not going to take the duel. He's going to call in some help. Shameful to spray. Here comes the Lena LSA to land, and with the Laguna Blade in their back pocket, that's a dead centaur. Skewer him and down. Back up. Whoa, centaur up. And it's not really super costly, it's mostly costing the fact that they just don't have relocate now. And Winter Wyvern caught, but oh, EE -E gets disarmed, they still get the kill. Now EE's -E -E got to get the hell out of here. Whisper is just rolling around, there aren't that many hillsides to bump into in this area anymore. And now the grip, you've wandered into the wrong neighborhood, Pangolier. Was getting caught part of your plan? It shouldn't be, now they're onto Grimstroke as well, oh, yep. okay, they still got him. The Nightmare lasts forever, they have an LSA, and they're not going to miss that one, so uh, they got him, that's what's important. Reset, get him back to farming. Oh, you were debated so hard, he doesn't even get the bounty rune. And you know what, he's going to drop a really heavy bomb on Whisper, but... Okay, are they going to... Yeah, they're yanking the Lina in. Here comes the Nightmare, and the relocate. LSA, don't miss the LSA. RP, no, no RP because of the curse. Exactly what I was talking about. The combo breaking power of Skullfield is ridiculous. He skewers back the Magnus, and with the two bound together, Centaur just double edges them all down. The Dire Courier even getting involved there. Would have meant almost for sure a dead Medusa. Although Centaur goes in a little bit too far. That embrace again. Although this time there's a Chronosphere. Envy is behind him. And he's going to try to go for this Winter Wyvern. Is going to grab him and dodge the Hoof Stomp, but straight into the Rolling Thunder of the Pangolier. He's going to take quite a bit of damage here, but he should be able to time walk most of it back. Now the reinforcements onto the Centaur Warrunner. Another LSA to land. He's going to fall. Gosh, so he'll have a lot of value stats. What is going on up here? That is a grip. RP canceled. Wait for two of them. Oh, the stomp's going to come in. LSA lands onto three. And Tomato's just machine gunning everyone down. But here comes the Medusa with the Stone Gaze. Petrifying two. Grabs two kills. Immediately in response. Snaking. Do they have this kill anyway? There's a lot of reinforcements coming in. They're right next to the shrine, and the curse goes off into the bane. Locks in him and Pepita, and now they're both in a lot of troubles. They get rolled in on back and forth, back and forth. They're going to go down. EE, -E, Chronosphere only onto one. Can he even kill him? No, not with the embrace. He gets nothing done. Absolutely. Here comes the stealthy Lina. A little bit short on mana. She does land the stun. Needs to Laguna Blade, but the Phantom comes in. With the right clicks though, Lina is just short. Okay, that. Whoa, look at him go! Did you see that? He was like. Through, uh, traditional dispel means. Looking at Guardian Greaves potentially for the IO, but I guess not. RP. Love that lack of hesitation from Pita. Like, you see someone there, just go for it. Although, the bashes aren't quite enough. Now, the curse. Onto the Magnus. EE. -E. 
doing his friend dirty with the rolling thunder coming in onto all three of them and two of them bound up in the background Pepita is gonna fall and the rolling Pangolier is still no response so far they do drag her really far in they need perma bashes but she gets the stone gaze off there's gonna be a lot of petrification in the background here as Tomato's gonna cheese out Whisper does grab him another LSA onto the Medusa she's running out of HP really quickly they'll take down Robo ending a five kill spree Ashes, dude practice on this hero Okay, there's the bat. He gets like a triple right after. Figures, right? It always happens like that. <laughs> no bash, no bash, no bash. But again, they, they're going into this position where there's a shrine right here. So like, like yeah, you could go over Grimstroke and you may get him, but you know that there's going to be a fight afterwards. Cause the LSA is going to be off, but does it matter? Just going to right click, rush him down. Yo, LSA is a bait.